His power in the name of Jesus. Are you conscious of it? The name is so powerful that even an outsider used it once to cast out devils, work miracles. The apostles wanted to stop him. Abby, John said, Lord, we saw one man. He's not one of us. He's not a Catholic. He's not a Christian. But he was busy casting out devils, working miracles on them. And we wanted to stop him. He said, you don't need to stop anybody who is doing the work. For anyone who is not against us is with us. So they are inspired in the name, John chapter 14, verse 8. Say, whatever you ask the Father in my name, you shall receive. And we are told there is no other name in Acts chapter 4 by which we are saved except the name of who? The name of Jesus. So do you remember that there is power in the name of Jesus? Have you tried using it before? Remember, the power is not from you. The user is in the name itself. And therefore, God gave him a name that is above every other name. Philippians 2, that at the name of Jesus, every knee must, and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. That somebody can cast out devils. Does not make the person an extraordinary person. That is what all of us are supposed to do. Mark chapter 15, Abi 16. He said, and these signs shall follow believers. In my name they shall do what? He said, believe, I didn't say priests or pastors. Because when you fail to take responsibility for what you can do, another person is doing it, you look like that person is extraordinary. And then we exalt them into a court, a hero, and think that we are ordinary. No. Jesus said, that, that shouldn't bother you. In fact, in Matthew 12, too, Jesus even made us know that it's not only Christians, his followers that could cast out devils. When the, uh, when the Pharisees accused him of casting out devils through the devil himself, Beelzebub, Jesus was angry. He said, how can you say that? He said, through whom do your own experts cast them out? Is it through devil too? Because your own experts who have been doing what? Casting out devil. Then he said to them, do not rejoice because the spirits bow to you. Rejoice rather that your name. In other words, Jesus is saying, do not let your success blind you from the purpose. Because the danger is that from now on, you will not start pursuing success and forget the purpose. The purpose for which I gave you this power, called into this ministry, made you a believer and a Christian, empowered you, and made you to succeed in the mission. It's not just so that you will cast out devils and take glory in it and be happy with yourself. So, you know, the purpose is that you will, at the end, find yourself in heaven. So conversely, if after all this success in ministry, after all this um, exploits in ministry, and you miss heaven, it means that you have lost it all. And so Jesus is also saying it's possible to be successful as a Christian or a priest and still not make it to heaven. And that is what you call success in failure. You have succeeded in failure. So Mark chapter 8, verse 36, it says, what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and suffers the loss of his own soul? Or what can a man offer in exchange for his life? See that?